Hey friends, this is our fifth lecture on discovering that the saga continues. What was to be done? So that was the question that we posed yesterday. But before we enter into today's lecture main, let's look at the main points first. Carnage work, then the funerary treasures, uh, then reassembling of ducts. Those they survived the, all the joints to study in detail, to take a close look. Afterwards, they have to reassemble the whole thing, parts. And substantial changes in archaeology. That is 40 years now of uh, say what Carter did and afterwards an anatomy professor did. So between that 14 years of uh, yeah, uh, during that time, substantial changes means very uh, important changes we can say. Uh, considerable changes. Considerable changes took place in archaeology. That is in the way you study human past, uh, going through the utensils or the, the instruments used by them, like as I told you, often I give the example of Mohenjadaro and Harappa excavations. Archaeology, yes. So let's begin with, the, uh, as usual, let's begin with the main words and phrases like that. Example, blazing sunshine. Blazing means very hot. We can see young children, they play football in blazing sunshine. They don't care about heat or anything like that. Blazing sunshine. Workers on the farm, they work in blazing sunshine. It's very hot sunshine. Nothing budged means nothing uh, changed, nothing budged. No, no movement, so to say. Nothing budged. Nothing changed, so mean, nothing budged. For example, we went on advising students to not to smoke, but nothing budged. Nothing happened. Means no change could be made. Uh, very often, counselors meet students who, I mean, young men who are, who are addicted to drugs and so on. They talk for hours, but nothing will budge. Means no change will take place. Because that is a kind of what we must say habit. And then scientific detachment, scientific, uh, to say, to make a statement about uh, in, with scientific detachment means no emotions, matter of fact, it's a matter of fact. So, in some, sometimes in some cultures, people die, they look at it with a scientific detachment, no emotion, nothing of that. So for them it is nothing but, if you are born, you will die. That is scientific detachment, without any emotion. Matter of fact, consolidated material means tough, toughened, hardened material. Consolidated material, hardened material. Consolidated here means we have seen already recent hardened. That is, consolidated material, it is difficult to move or remove. Consolidated cement, for example, you know, you have seen a consolidated cement. Very difficult to do anything with it. It will be like a block. And now chisel away, use a chisel and then cut it or remove it, chisel, chiseling, uh, chisel, use a chisel and then cut it, that is. Uh, it was very difficult for us to remove the consolidated material and so we chiseled it away. So it's simple, together again. Circumvented the guard, circumvented means go around, not straight. If you cannot attack somebody, you circumvent, means go around. Now, Guards will be guarding these mummies and these uh, pyramids and so on. Thieves, what will they do? They will not go straight, but they will go around without being noticed. Very often, students who come late, they circumvent the teacher at the end of the class. And those who want to go midway, you know, the after say proxy, after saying, uh, after taking attendance, some students they will circumvent the teacher and go out. See, they go around. See, that is, there may be two or three doors in the classroom. Or they rip it apart. Cut it apart. Cut it, open it apart. You have got a, you know this, uh, you have got uh, bags, you know. Then you rip it like this. That is, you open it. That is ripping it open. It's cutting it open. Then uh, fabulously will be. Extremely wealthy, like Bill Gates, 
warm buffets and so on. They are fabulously wealthy. So what happens is they will donate also, fabulously donate also. And then lavished with means plenty. Uh, for example, you can say give plenty. Some people, when you go for a begging, they they will lavish you with money. This. They will give lavishly. Lavishly means without any limit. This lavishly. A father lavishes kisses on the, on his son, on his small son. I mean, a child. Yes. A father lavishes kisses on the cheeks of the, his child. Understand? Lavish, twenty. Uh, this. No, no limit for the lavish. Adornments, or you can say, uh, the teacher lavish the praises on the student who behaved well in the class. Lavish, plenty. Then adornments. Adornments means ornaments. That is, many people these days refuse to wear adornments. They think that. To be plain and simple is great, isn't it? Then severed nearly every joint. Severed means separated, severing, separated, separated. So, when Tut was, Tut's mummy was discovered, it was very difficult for the for Carter to study this. So, he severed the limbs and the trunk also. Trunk means this part of the body and limbs means different uh, parts of the body. They severed. Uh, very often it happens that when you cannot uh, Study something directly, you sever it, means move it, I mean uh, cut it into pieces or separate it into pieces. Very good. Reassemble the remains. So after severing, you reassemble. That's putting together again. Putting together again, that is reassembling means. So we we can say we we <coughs> remove the roof of the thatched house and after this we reassemble it. Some houses are thatched with grass, you, you must have seen, or some palm leaves. Then they remove it and then they apply, they means use fresh ones, so and then they reassemble the roof. roof. The structure is reassembled. You must have seen that. Padding that concealed. Padding means a cover. Padding, a cover. And that is concealed means hidden, hiding. The padding is padding is used for hiding, padding. You use pads you now for cricket game. You have got pads, knee pads, then uh, gloves and so on. So pads you have. That is something used for covering. Some cushion, cushion you can say. Cushion is substantially means uh, considerably. We have already seen considerably. So yesterday I spent substantial amount for helping a person. Substantial means considerable amount. In the remaining decades, coming in between. Decades means a period of 10 years. So 10 years, 10 years coming in between me. So here it is 4 decades. 4 decades means 40 years, 40 years. So intervening decades can substantial changes took place in archaeology, in, in uh, investigating as well. Fascinating details means interesting detail, really. Fascinating detail. To know the fascinating details of a student, we hypnotize him. Hypnotizing, yes. And then next is, Intriguing, intriguing mysteries of death. Intriguing mysteries. It's difficult to unravel, difficult to understand. Mysteries means secrets. Difficult to understand secrets about death of a person. Here that's what we are trying to find, you know. That is touch, the young king, the boyish king, the teenage king. How the teen, the teenager, how he died, this still remains a mystery. Sophisticated tools means, so, uh, means uh, very advanced. Advanced tools. Sophisticated also means civilized. So that is advanced tools. For example, CT, that is um, uh, computer assisted scanning. It is an advanced, advanced or uh, sophisticated tool for diagnosis. Otherwise, in ancient days, what doctors used to do, they would catch for love and see, feel your pulse, open your eyes, then uh, your tongue and so on the way. Now, these days, it's not like that. Say you go for take a, a take a, a computer image or something or X-ray. So these are all what we call uh, sophisticated tools for diagnosis. The startling fact, means stunning fact. Actually, we heard that stunning, surprising, wonderstruck and thunderstruck. We said that is. So it is a stunning fact. It is a startling fact. It is a startling fact to know that uh, the sun stopped for a moment. <laughs> startling. 
and rip it apart to remove the gold. Cut it apart. But here this is generally done. If you are not done like this, then definitely uh, the guards would have been uh, fooled by uh, fooled by thieves and they would have ended and cut it apart and carried away all the valuable things and the gold. In Tut's times, the royals were fabulously wealthy. They were very, very extremely wealthy. And they thought or hoped they could take their riches with them. So they, they thought like that is their belief. Everybody has got his own belief. So they were very rich and they thought that uh, these things can be carried to my to the other world. That is what, what uh, Shakespeare says in Hamlet, that the undiscovered country from whose bone not travel other times passes through it. So that undiscovered country, they thought, they thought like that. This, all the riches, all the money, all the wealth, all the jewels, all the gems, all the gold could be taken to the other world and food and drink and wine and what not, cake and what not, you see that. So this could be taken and they could eat it. So that was their belief. For their journey, for this journey to the great beyond, what, what Shakespeare says, that undiscovered country in Hamlet. So to the great beyond, King Tut was lavished with glittering goods. So lavish means plenty. Because the royal family was fabulously rich. So glittering goods like precious collars, very precious metals, collars made of precious metal, inlaid necklaces, necklace, you know, necklaces, very decorated, jewelry, and then bracelets, Mr. rings, amulets, small, small uh, ornaments that people believe that will prevent evil eye. Some people have got eyes, they are evil eye. If you look at them, they will get this oil. Means the other person will suffer. Some kind of a curse will fall upon them. So people have certain small things like this. So that is called amulets to prevent it. A ceremonial apron, sandals, sheets, means cover, cover for his fingers and toes. And now, now the iconic inner coffin. So the, the three nested coffin. One is the shroud, the inner coffin and then outer coffin. So there is inner coffin and iconic means that can be clearly seen. The iconic, icon, it's an icon switch. So in a computer screen you have got icons. So iconic inner coffin and mask all of pure gold. That is 916 <laughs> or you can say 22 character, what you, you can, whatever you want to call it. Because the royal family was so fabulously rich to separate that from his adornments. Adornments means his ornaments that we have already listed now. Carter's men removed the mummy's head first and severed nearly every joint, separated every joint. Once they had finished, they reassembled the remains on a layer of sand, a layer of sand on which they put together the parts in wooden box with padding, a cushioning that concealed the damage the, uh, uh, the bed where that now was. So the reassembling also took place on there as a layer of sand. Then what else they did? Layer of sand, a wooden box, in a wooden box. First they bought a wooden box. Then they filled it with the sand, a layer of sand. And a padding that concealed the damage. The bed where that now was a cushion also. Archaeology has changed substantially in the intervening decades focusing less on pressure and more on the fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries of death. So today's approach to approach was archaeology. Archaeologists were not bothered about the treasures that they find in a coffin or in a tomb or in a burial chamber or under a pyramid. But they are more interested in fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries of death how he lived, what is the interesting facts about his life and how he, how he met with his uh, death, what kind of a death it was. Is it a murder, a poisoning or natural death, untimely death or old age, all these things that's what now these people study now. If it, it also, it also uh, tells, see, more, uh, it also uses, sorry, uses more sophisticated tools, means modern tools, including medical technology. 
So we have got X-ray is medical technology, scanning is medical technology, then scanning, well, different ways of scanning is there. Or then you have got ventilator, you have got medical technology means way, un unending. So today they use uh, this, they, they also use uh, this, more sophisticated tools that is today's archaeology, that's what it is. Today's archaeology, the focus is not on pressures, but the focus is on fascinating facts about the, the life of a person and the intriguing secrets or mysteries of the death of a person. Plus, they are also using now medical technology. 1968, more than four, 40 years after Carvey's discovery, an anatomy professor X-ray the mummy and revealed a startling fact. Showed, revealed me showed, showed, S H O W E D, showed or told, uh, revealed uh, a startling fact. A fact when you hear, you will be wonderstruck and wonderstruck beneath the resin that that cakes is just cakes is that means cushions is just his uh, his uh, breastbone and front ribs are missing. This is a terrible thing. So what Howard Hatterson, you may have saw in Havas the other day told you, he has done some damage to it. What is the damage? The rib bone is missing, isn't it? That is what he says. What is missing here is startling fact that the that the chest bone and the and the front ribs are missing. Chest bone and the front ribs are missing. How who took it away? We have no idea. So that is a startling fact about Tad's mummy. Today, diagnostic imaging, imaging for diagnosis can be done with the computer tomography or CT. It's a CT scan, very familiar to you, by which hundreds of X-rays in cross section are put together to like slices of bread to create a three-dimensional virtual body. So scanning. That is uh, hundreds of x-rays, cross-section x-rays are taken and put together just like you are putting to the uh, loaves of bread. You cut the bread and then loaves of bread so that you can see, you can create a virtual, a virtual, three-dimensional virtual school. So we have a three-dimensional, isn't it? Uh, like that you can see, this is single dimension, this one. Three-dimensional means you can see, you can see, your front, back, sides, etc. Everything you can see. Now. So that you you can see uh, uh, this mummy just like a human being standing. It is a virtual uh, dimension, that, that three-dimensional well, virtual body. So today is imaging. So what has happened? Modern archaeology uses medical technology. Modern archaeology is not concerned about the treasures, but modern archaeology is concerned about intriguing facts about uh, fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries about death. Plus they use modern technology. One of the technology items they use CT scan, diagnostic imaging. And then you have got a, you can create a virtual three-dimensional body. So from there, different, different angles you can see. Otherwise, absolutely, otherwise it is only single dimension like a picture. Here you can see all the uh, around, just as, just as a person is standing, you can go back, you can go around the front, you can see the sides, you know, every aspect you can see and you can study. So I hope that you have understood and you are enjoying my classes, because here you have got a, a very good version of fabulously rich, you can say, ripped apart, yes. So this can be used as metaphorically also. See, he was ripped apart to find out what is in his mind. As a ripped apart. Uh, this is uh, metaphorically chiseled away, consolidated materials. That's also a good phrase. It's hard and scientific detachment. Very good. So you should approach everything with a scientific detachment, not uh, not uh, emotional. Don't be emotional. Scientific detachment, fabulously rich, consolidated material, intriguing facts, mysteries about the death of a person, fascinating details, substantially changed. Not budging, it's not budging. You go and beg your teacher to forgive your sins, but he will not budge. Means he will not change. There is not even a small, like, like, slight change in him. That is, slight change, that is, budging. Then you have blazing sunshine. Very good. It's a very good phrase you can use now. Yesterday I was working the blazing sunshine on my farm. Yes, blazing sunshine. 
Yes. Any other than that, several, several means those things substantially. Intervening decades, good phrase, intervening decades. Intervening decades, if you say, from 19, uh, 2005 to 2015, the intervening decades, you will find that uh, a lot of changes have taken place in this world. Intervening, uh, decades, intervening years, that also you can say. Yeah. Startling fact, very good. So that you can say, no? when, when we came to know that the laziest student got first rank, it was a startling fact, startling fact, startling fact for us. Like that. Or startling news, yes. startling news, startling fact, intriguing mysteries of death. Hamlet is actually the play, Hamlet is about the intriguing mysteries of King Hamlet's death. See? Make sentences like this. Then what will happen is that these words and phrases will be used. You can use them. So, your vocabulary, vocabulary the, maro, the, ma, the barometer, the, the of your vocabulary, you know, that will go up. Yes. That is very nice to see, you know. Last year, if you had a one like words with you, this year, when you complete your 11th class, you must have at least two likes words with you. Huh? That is the way you English. And then, you have got plenty of choice. When you have choice, when your writing skill will develop, speaking skill will develop, and you will be able to speak English like native people, even better than that. Provider, you learn these words and also other words, read newspaper and, so, and things like that. So, my dear friends, before we leave today, you have a lesson left. Stay home, be safe. Break the chain, be safe. Wear mask, be safe. Keep distance, be safe. Use cell soap, be safe. Use sanitize, be, be safe. You be safe, then you will all be safe. That's a good idea. Right? Have a nice time. Enjoy.